again coming at you with another episode of Lindsay's Lounge for American Idol commentary. Um, I didn't do a commentary last night because I was having computer problems, but I think I figured it out, so hopefully I'll be able to upload this video. Um, last night, Top 13 performed Michael Jackson Week. Very exciting. Um, we had already heard three Michael Jackson slash Jackson 5 songs during the um, semifinals week from Matt Gerard, Stephen Fowler, and Juno Joyner. Um, Matt Gerard will have the opportunity to sing at least two Michael Jackson songs now. Um, but there was, to start off the night, I'll go through last night pretty quickly so I can get everything in. Um, weird Judge and Seacrest intro, I thought, a little self-indulgent. I think that's one of the new words for this season. Um, so that is a new um, kind of weird thing to do. Cool new stage though. I really like the new stage, except the um, like TV thing right in front of the judges on the floor. I think that is so unnecessary and very distracting. Um, they announced it because there is a top 13 instead of a top 12 like normal. To keep on schedule, they're going to eliminate two tomorrow night, which was tonight, coincidentally. Um, Lil Round saying the way you make me feel. It was okay. Her outfit was horrible. I'm not going to go through everybody, but... Um, Thought Danny Goki, who did PYT, which I don't think I've really ever heard that song before. Um, I thought he did an awesome job. He didn't do a typical Danny Goki song. Um, I guess you could say he did one very upbeat. His dancing I thought was fun. Yeah, he dances like a total white boy, but I thought it was fun and quirky um, in a good way. Quirky in a good way. Um, but the only thing I didn't like was the matching glasses and shirt. A little overdone, but I'm glad he just picked a fun song to do, and he nailed it. He really did. Michael Sarver, really surprised at how good he was. I thought he really nailed it, and I'm glad that he chose that song. It really showed off his vocal range very well. Good choice. Jasmine Murray thought she did much better than anybody could have ever expected her to do. A very cool version, like Randy had said, a mixture between the Michael Jackson version and the Mariah Carey version of I'll Be There. I thought she did great. Really, really exceeded my expectations. Um, Allison Irohita, one of my top, one of my top favorites for this season, Give In to Me, one of the songs that I don't think most of America has heard. Um, for me, it was kind of a boring performance compared to what she had given us before, but awesome vocals. She's an incredible, incredible talent, and I'm so glad that they put her through. Anoop. Everyone is really, really being hard on Anoop. I think the only problem with his performance was his cockiness. His new haircut gave him some major cockiness. Um, other than that, I thought he really worked the crowd well. It was just his, I don't know, his stage presence, I guess, was a little cocky coming off to um, to us watching it on TV. Something the judges might not have caught. But to me, that was the only problem. I thought he sung it really well. He did work the crowd very well. He gets a lot of screams. Um, but meh. Jorge, boring. Ugh. I knew he was going to get through last week, even though I wasn't such a big fan of his. But this week, I was like, bye. I don't really need to see you anymore. <sighs> Worst performance of the night, in my opinion, Megan freaking Corkery. Where did her middle name come from? I hate when people do that. So I'm never going to call her by her Megan Joy Corkery ever again. Megan freaking Corkery. Rockin' Robin. Okay. Yes, the song really highlighted her quirky dance moves very well, but that's not a good thing. <laughs> she looked cute. Her hair is cool, but that's really all I can say. Caw, caw. What the frick was that, Megan? This is American Idol. We are past the Norman Gentle stage. We don't need another one. Unfortunately, I think she's going to be around a lot longer than I anticipate because Vote for the Worst is behind her. So, we'll see. I, ugh, I don't like her. And I'm glad Simon did not really like that performance last night because he was all over her since her audition. Adam Lambert, I'm going to eat my words on this one, did not like him last week, said that I really don't like him. Thought he gave one of the best performances of the night. Really, really, really. With Michael Jackson, I think you can be a little more out there and crazy than with um, Satisfaction, which is kind of a really crazy song too, but this song 
Um, or Michael Jackson, ugh, Jackson especially, I think you can be really, really crazy and it's going to really work for you no matter what. So really, really excited about his performance. He did a great job until the rapping part. I really wasn't a fan of that. <laughs> Whatever it is. I wasn't a huge fan of that. But for the most part, I really, really enjoyed his performance. He really, really nailed it. He was definitely more controlled at the beginning. And I think that's why I like the performance so much. Matt Gerard, Human Nature. Oh, his piano playing is so good. Mm, I love him. Thought it was a really good performance. Glad the judges really liked it as well. Alexis Grace. Um, when I first watched it last night, I was like, this is horrible. Um, this afternoon, I had the opportunity to go back and rewatch all of the performances, and I liked her so much better the second time around. So, I don't know. She has definitely sexed it up times a bajillion from when we first saw her when, her, when she auditioned. Wow. She lost a lot of weight, too. She's very, very tiny, and she was just normal before. Um, so that's kind of a quick rundown of everything that happened last night. Tonight, the results show. New twist. Um, I'd heard rumors that this was what was going to be the twist. Um, one contestant will be able to be saved by the judges one time between now and the top five. So say um, Alexis Grace has a great performance, but it gets voted off. If the judges think she deserves to stay another week, excuse me, they can vote her or they can decide that she's going to stay. And then that next following week, two people will go home. So kind of like what happened tonight. Um, who went home? I'm trying to think. I didn't take notes tonight because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do a video. Oh, um, Jasmine. Most people, I think, thought she was going to go home, but I thought she gave a good performance. But the judges said... Sorry, we're not going to keep you. Um, then it came down to Jorge and Anoub. I was rather devastated because I really do like Anoub. I thought he really, really can't work a crowd. He just needs to work on the cockiness. And I really, I mean, once it came down to the two of them, I was nervous, but I really figured that it was going to be Jorge because he picked a terrible song last night. Jorge's gone. No, he's not coming back. Jasmine's gone. She's not coming back. So, bye guys. Thanks for joining us on the stage. Um, predictions, like Paula, I really think that um, it's going to come down to Allison, no, to Adam and Danny. It's going to be another guy um, end of the season this year between those two. We'll see, but that's how it's shaping up to be right now. It is early, so I would never predict who I think is going to be in, though I kind of just did. Um, but those, I do think, I just totally contradicted myself. Um, for now, that's what I'm going to say. Those two um, are headed to the finals. Lil disappointed me this week. She was definitely in it to win it last week, not so much this week. Next week, I think, might be Grand Ole Opry week. I know there's going to be a Grand Ole Opry week sometime throughout the season, maybe possibly next week. It was one of the earlier... Um, theme weeks that got leaked, so that's why I'm thinking it'll be next week, which is going to be tough for pretty much everybody. Um, I think um, Michael Sarver will pull it off the best. I really do. Chris Allen, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think Michael Sarver has the best chance of pulling uh, Country Week off. Um, me and Antonio were actually talking last night about um, other theme weeks that we thought would be really cool for American Idol this year. Disney Week was at the top of our list. Um, yeah, Fox has American Idol and Disney is, you know, Grey's Anatomy, Dancing with the Stars, Ugly Betty. But I think it really could be a possibility this season because um, the American Idol experience is at Disney World. So, I don't know, there's kind of a blending of those two. So I would be really, really cool, I think, to see. Um, I just hope nobody sings Circle of Life because that is Jennifer Hudson's defining song. Um, and... I don't want anybody to touch it. Though I did eat my words when Alison Hita sang Alone, which is Carrie Underwood's defining song. Because um, she really brought something completely different, but still, you could tell that it was that song. So that was cool. But, um, and then another week that we thought of was like American Idol Week, where American Idol 
um, the American Idols this year sang songs from past American Idols. Not just winners, because we all know Chris Daughtry is doing really well. Clay Aiken has done really well in the past. Jennifer Hudson's got some new songs out. So anybody from the American Idol family, I think, uh, that would be cool. Oh, and speaking of American Idol family, Kelly Clarkson performed tonight. Oh, I love her. I'm obsessed with her. So glad that she was able to come out and perform tonight. And they said they're pretty much, like I kind of predicted, um, that they're pretty much going to have um, a past American Idol come on each week and perform. I thought Kanye was totally unnecessary. I like that song, and I like Kanye for the most part, but I thought that song was, or him being on the show was a very strange. But um, yeah, for Kelly Clarkson, I love her. I can't wait to hear her new album. It's getting really good reviews. Um, but yeah, until next week, maybe it'll be a Grand Ole Opry week. Maybe it won't. See you then.